to be able to scale that rebalancing of the asymmetry of security and sort of level the playing field, we're going to need to rapidly mature this infrastructure. What does Coinbase Asset Management to you in three words? Three words. Um, it's experience, it's excellence, and it's execution. Love those values. Absolutely stands for the brand as well. What's the one word, unique problem that you're solving right now? Inefficiency. That's a great one to solve as well. What is the biggest security risk you see with projects nowadays? I think as we've digitized a lot of our economy, we've introduced the asymmetry of attack and defense that exists in digital systems. It is a single person can attack a country when it comes to the lightweight nature and the sort of leverage that digital systems give them. Now, I think we're extremely excited about balancing those scales and, and the cryptographic security properties and decentralized networks really helped us to do that. But to be able to scale that rebalancing of the asymmetry of security and sort of level the playing field, we're going to need to rapidly mature this infrastructure. So I think that's our focus is to build and iterate and, and harden how we create infrastructure that can be used for very large capital markets. And I think it will apply across basically our, our digital economy. That was a really interesting insight into that. So what is your favorite cybersecurity podcast? Okay. Um, I consume many, probably too many podcasts, uh, but actually when it comes to cybersecurity, it's not, it's not really my preferred medium. Um, I, I really like these blogs that deliver kind of an aggregation of some of the best writing in the space. I think when it's more technical, I tend to get a little bit more out of reading somebody's work and, and having that integration of you know, thought leadership, but also maybe some diagrams some things that help me think through the problem more architecturally. So for example, I get an email called block threat, and it tends to assemble some of the best writing from independent researchers, the major audit firms, as well as stories around, you know, particular security threats and, and, you know, remediation. And I think it gives me the right space in the week. You know, if I can spend an hour on that and I can go through 15 different articles at a high level and dig in where I need to, it tends to help me navigate what's happening without uh, it being my primary focus. Yeah. Block threat is a really, really cool source of information. Um, the very last one now. So what's one book on digital assets that you'd advise everybody to read? For me, it was, it was Mastering Bitcoin and Mastering Ethereum. Uh, they're, they're very much kind of preliminary books for programmers that want to enter the space. But I think that it's where, it's where the story of how these technologies work and how they were created, as well as how to use them, really comes together. And I think they're just phenomenal foundational pieces of knowledge for this industry. So realistically, I'm probably due to reread both of them. And it's one of those things that you should be, should be reading a chapter from each, you know, once a month on a continuous basis, because I think even though they might be outdated in some ways, they really give you that foundational knowledge to understand how we're going to build these systems. That's making me want to go back to those two uh, books right away. If I could word a very last question based on your experience of digital assets and security overall, if you could go back and give yourself a piece of advice five years back, what would that be? Five years back, um, get into the space more seriously sooner.